Good morning and welcome back to another week of Matins in the Morning. It is Monday, May 6th. That's Monday of the sixth week of Easter. My name is Nathan. I'm joined by Carrie. We're coming to you from the St. Thomas More House of Prayer. We are a Catholic retreat center in Cranberry, Pennsylvania, and it is our mission to pray and promote the Liturgy of the Hours. You can find out more about us at our website at liturgyofthehours.org. Uh, we are in Volume 2 of the Liturgy of the Hours, four-volume set. I'm going to take us through the page numbers uh, you'll need if you're following along with the prayer books this morning. You can also find this information in the description just below the video. So our opening hymn will be the hymn on page 542, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. We'll sing the first two verses. Our antiphons and psalms will come from the current day of the Psalter. We're in week two of the Psalter. And those will begin on page 1236. And our readings, responsories, and concluding prayer are in the proper of seasons. And those begin at the bottom of page 880. So we'll begin as we always do with our prayer that we pray in preparation for the divine office. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Open, Amen. O Lord, my mouth to bless your holy name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and kindle my affections, that I may worthily, attentively, and devoutly say this office, and so deserve to be heard before the presence of your divine majesty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in union with that divine intention with which you praise God while you are on earth, I offer to you this hour. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ the Lord is, is risen today. Christians, haste your vows to pay. Offer you your praises meet. At the Paschal Victim's feet. For the sheep the Lamb has bled, Sinless in the sinner's stead. Christ the Lord is risen on high, Now he lives no more to die. Christ the victim undefiled, man to God has reconciled. When in strange and awful strife met together death and life, Christians on this happy day haste with joy your vows to pay. Christ the Lord is risen on high, now he lives no more to die. Bow down and hear me, Lord, come to my rescue. Alleluia. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Release me from the snares they have hidden. For you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. O God of truth, you detest those who worship false and empty gods. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. You who have seen my affliction and taken heed of my soul's distress, have not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet at large. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Bow, Bow down, down and, and hear me, Lord. Lord. Come, Come to, to my, my rescue. rescue. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord, let, let the, the light, light of your countenance shine on your servant. servant. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes, my throat, and my heart. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighs. 
Affliction has broken down my strength, and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbors, and of fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like a dead man, forgotten, like a thing thrown away. I have heard the slander of the crowd, fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, let the light of your countenance shine on your servant. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, for he has poured out his mercy upon me. Alleluia. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed be the Lord who has shown me the wonders of his love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said in my alarm. Yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love the Lord, all you saints. He guards his faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord for he has poured out his mercy upon me. me. Alleluia. My heart and my flesh. Alleluia. Rejoice in the living God. Alleluia. From the first letter of the Apostle John. My little ones, I am writing this to keep you from sin. But if anyone should sin, we have in the presence of the Father, Jesus Christ, an intercessor who is just. He is an offering for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we can be sure of our knowledge of him is to keep the commandments. The man who claims, I have known him, without keeping his commandments, is a liar. In such a one there is no truth. But whoever keeps his word truly has the love of God been made perfect in him. The way we can be sure we are in union with him is for the man who claims to abide in him to conduct himself just as he did. Dearly beloved, it is no new commandment that I write to you, but an old one which you had from the start. The commandment, now old, is the word you have already heard. On second thought, the commandment that I write to you is new, as it is realized in him and you, for the darkness is over and the real light begins to shine. The man who claims to be in light, hating his brother all the while, is in darkness even now. The man who continues in light is the one who loves his brother. There is nothing in him to cause a fall. But the man who hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in shadows, not knowing where he is going, since the dark has blinded his eyes. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light. Alleluia. We can be sure that we know Christ only if we keep his commandments. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light. Alleluia. From the Treatise on the Trinity by Didymus of Alexandria. The Holy Spirit renews us in baptism through his Godhead, which he shares with the Father and the Son. Finding us in a state of deformity, the Spirit restores our original beauty and fills us with his grace leaving no room for anything unworthy of our love. The Spirit frees us from sin and death, and changes us from the earthly men we were, men of dust and ashes, into spiritual men, sharers in the divine glory, sons and heirs of God the Father, 
who bear a likeness to the Son and are his co-heirs and brothers, destined to reign with him and to share his glory. In place of earth, the Spirit reopens heaven to us and gladly admits us into paradise, giving us even now greater honor than the angels, and by the holy waters of baptism, extinguishing the unquenchable fires of hell. We men are con conceived twice. To the human body we owe our first conception, to the divine spirit our second. John says, To all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. These were born not by human generation, not by the desire of the flesh, not by the will of man, but of God. All who believed in Christ, he says, received power to become children of God, that is, of the Holy Spirit, and to gain kinship with God. To show that their parent was God the Holy Spirit, he adds the word, these words of Christ, I give you this solemn warning, that without being born of water and the Spirit, no one can enter the kingdom of God. Visibly, through the ministry of priests, the font gives symbolic birth to our visible bodies. Invisibly, through the ministry of angels, the Spirit of God, whom even the mind's eye cannot see, baptizes into himself both our souls and bodies, giving them a new birth. Speaking quite literally, and also in harmony with the words of water and the Spirit, John the Baptist says of Christ, He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Since we are only vessels of clay, we must first be cleansed in water, and then hardened by the spiritual fire, for God is a consuming fire. We need the Holy Spirit to perfect and renew us, for spiritual fire can cleanse us, and spiritual water can recast us as in a furnace and make us into new men. I will pour out water upon the thirsty land and streams upon the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit upon your offspring, and they shall grow like willows by the flowing streams. Alleluia. The water I give shall become a fountain within him, welling up to eternal life. I will pour out my spirit upon your offspring, and they shall grow like willows by the flowing streams. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, God of mercy, mercy, may our, our celebration, celebration of your Son's resurrection, resurrection help, help us, us to experience its effect in our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. We'll now conclude as we always do with our prayer that follows the divine office. To the most holy, holy and, and undivided, undivided Trinity, Trinity, to the, the humanity, humanity of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ crucified, crucified, to the, the fruitful virginity of the most blessed and glorious Mary ever virgin, and to the whole company of the saints, the everlasting praise, praise honor, and glory by all creatures, creatures and to us remission of all our sins, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father, and blessed be the breast which nourished Christ the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.